most of the works have disappeared. We know that self-portraits originated about at the same time as portraits. The prehistoric men who created these cave paintings used their own ants as a model. In ancient Egypt, Beck, the chief sculptor of Akhenaten, represented himself on this stella in Asram. The sculpture of Phidias is recognisable on the Athens shields. The first numerous collection of self-representations comes from the illuminators who embellished medieval manuscripts. Renaissance marked a turning point in the history of portrait in general and self-portrait in particular, due to a change in society and an evolution of the techniques. First, painters changed social status. From craftsmen, they became considered artists, and the art of self-portraiting grew. The man in a red turban by Van Eyck is considered as the first occidental self-portrait. As for the technical improvements, the 15th century saw the development of glass mirrors. Artists could more easily look at themselves while painting, and some became masters of the genre, like Durer, who started representing himself from the age of 13 and continued throughout his life. It is also in this period that easels, canvas and oil paintings became more easily available. Artists could master the colours and were less restricted by the heavy wood panels they used to paint on. Some artists became major self-portraitists, like Rembrandt, who executed more than 40 self-representations throughout his career. As portraiture became commonplace, more and more artists, not to say most, painting themselves. In the 19th century, the interest for the human feelings grew, and artists became more and more influenced by their emotion. Being true to reality was not as important as showing mood. Self-portraits became less classical and were really influenced by the new art trends. It is at this period that the techniques of photography were invented. The inventors of daguerreotype and other means of taking pictures used themselves as models, standing in classical position to test their inventions. But from the beginning, some photographers overcame the plain realistic self-representation and took pictures of themselves in setups and with props that gave a symbolic message. This development never stopped, and artists used these new tools. Afterwards, some even used Photoshop and other softwares to enhance their message. Now, selfies are commonplace, and artists produce self-portraits taken with smartphones or tablets and modified with mainstream applications. In parallel, painters carried out painting themselves. Since the realistic representations could be made by photography, Paintings follow the new artist in trends and art in general explored new arrangements and symbols.